What's up guys, The Germ here with another video game video. Um, it has been a while since we've done a pickup video. I've picked a lot of stuff up. Um, it doesn't feel like I have, to be honest, but it's been so sporadic lately that I haven't had a chance to film anything because it's been one thing here, two things there, another one thing there. So today, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up at the Hyde Park, like they had a town-wide yard sale. Uh, also, too many games and some other yard sales I stumbled across. All right, here we go. So the first thing I want to start out, I don't think I showed these yet. Um, the uh, common price for a VHS today seems like it's 50 cents. So I saw these and I was like really nostalgic for them. Uh, Beavis and Butthead. Uh, I watched a lot of Beavis and Butthead as a kid. I was, uh, I, I definitely played the game. I was very fond of it. I like the cartoon segments the best. Wasn't really too into the music part at the time. Uh, but loved the Sega Genesis game, although I heard it's really bad now uh, to play it. But yeah, got two VHS uh, cassettes. I got these at the Hyde Park Townwide Yard Sale for 50 cents a piece. Um, I was on my way to too many games. Got another VHS. Uh, this was at a uh, local yard sale on my way to too many games that I stopped at. And this is the uh, Die Hard Trilogy. So all three are in here. Uh, Die Hard, Die Hard 2, Die Harder. And Die Hard with a Vengeance. Wow, I can't talk. Okay, you guys know I have a problem with pronouncing words. And uh, this is brand new sealed, which is crazy to think that all these years um, that this never went open. The people that were uh, selling it were selling their house. They were like 80 years old. Not the kind of people I would think they would see Die Hard. And they must have got this as a gift or something because they never opened it. So I thought that was pretty neat. They were only asking 50 cents for it. I think I gave them like two bucks. You know, um, stopped at Walmart and they still had a copy and these are now discounted at Walmart. I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but I want to say it was like maybe 39 or $45. One of the two, um, Hot Wheels Unleashed. I still have not played this game, but now I have it for the, uh, Xbox Series X. This is the uh, special edition one that comes with the Hot Wheels car. I also have the PlayStation uh, 5 version and the Switch version. It's pretty cool. I thought it was neat to have, so I picked that up. Here's a little pickup from Too Many Games, and I just dropped it. Um, you guys might have seen this uh, in the video for Too Many Games. I'll leave a link in the video uh, below so you guys can go ahead and watch this. I paid 100 bucks for this. Um, was it worth $100? Probably not, now that I think about it. But, you know, you're in the moment. It's kind of like when you're at the grocery store, and you're checking out, and you see all the magazines, the gum, and the candy. And you're like, oh, candy bar. It's, oh, it's a dollar? That's it? And then you pick it up. Well, I love Choplifter. Uh, one of my favorite games for the Sega Master System. I was looking for it for the Game Boy. Could not find it at the show. I do now have it because I went ahead and, and went and bought it. Uh, but yeah, got Choplifter uh, for the uh, Atari 7800. And uh, just a minute ago, I dropped it and cracked the case, the water case. So that uh, that sucks. But whatever. I know you can get those reholded. Probably not going to do that. Also, at too many games, I picked up um, the Angry Video Game uh, Blu-ray. I love AVGN, Cinemassacre, whatever you want, James wants to call himself for the week. Um, I have never seen the movie, so I'm looking forward to watching this. I, to be honest with you, until today, I forgot I had it, and I'm probably going to watch this tonight. Next up, we got, also, from uh, Too Many Games, I got, I was so mad when I saw this, and happy at the same time. I was looking for, last year, a brand new copy from Premium Edition Games of Super Blood Hockey, they told me they were sold out. I didn't think this is something that they're restocking and remaking. So a little disappointing that they're making this again. Um, but I got the uh, higher edition. I don't know if it's not the classic. I don't know what they call their editions. But it's like the second up edition in the uh, uh, cardboard box of Super Blood Hockey. Uh, this is really cool. It looks like an old school Super Nintendo game. And uh, yeah, I was excited to get that. It's from Premium Edition. I don't know if you can get this on their website or not. Um, but... I remember when the pre-orders went up and they sold out quick. I was like, ah, I don't know. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. Also got from them, Muddy Fight Federation. Um, I think this was like a Mega Man game, I think he said. Uh, never played it. Uh, probably not going to open it. I have way too many games to play. Um, but I'm going to put it on the shelf. And a uh, really awesome box. And it's a Switch version. I think that's all they make. I think they only make Switch games. Um, I got a huge pile of crappy Wii games right here, along with a bag, actually the bag's right here, of really crappy DS games. 
So there's a lot of a lot of like cookie mamas in here and stuff like that. Nothing nothing exciting. I think there was a the only game that was in here that was worth talking about was like an air uh Kirby Air Ride. Uh but I picked that up w along with uh this Nintendo DS XL. I think it was 100 bucks DSi XL. Um so I got that. Oh, it's all scratched up. I didn't notice that. Um so we got that. We got a nice little case for it. Uh, they also came with a pink 3DS. So probably the reason why there's a lot of little girly games in there. So the girl had two girls. And it was funny because when I met up with her, I ended up actually knowing her. Um, we did two meetups. Uh, the reason why is because I always asked, do you have anything else? And later on, she said, yes, I have something else. So this was the second pickup. The first pickup was a lot of crappy Wii games. Uh, like this gold gym game. <laughs> Brunswick Pro Bowling. Showtime Championship Boxing. <laughs> Table Tennis. I would love to know what these cost that people went and bought these. I've seen a lot of people bought these. Zumba Fitness. I know the Wii was big into fitness. Ropella uh, Terminate Fishing. I remember these were like on clearance for a long time. Sean White Snowboarding. Tiger Woods PGA Golf. Need for Speed Pro Streets. Finally a decent game. FIFA Soccer 09. Lynx Crossbow Training with a uh, made-up case. I don't know who made that case, but it looks pretty good, actually. Call of Duty World at War. Yes, Call of Duty was on the Wii. I wish they would put it on the Switch. That would be awesome. I don't know why they don't do that. Just Dance 2, and this is a uh, Best Buy exclusive edition. <laughs> Just Dance 4. Don't worry, we got some good stuff in here. This is not one of them. We Fit. <laughs> I think I got like five copies of that. Zelda. Twilight Princess. Decent game. Again, the good stuff. Resident Evil. I love Resident Evil. I love the movies. I love the games. Capcom game. And these... We're all on hold. Somebody was trying to just buy. She had all the games for sale. I told her I'd buy them all. And she's like, well, a couple of the games are sold. And that there, there were these ones here. Super Mario Gla Galaxy. I was like, come on, guys. Like, of course you're going to try to just buy the good ones. Super Mario Wii. And I counted them before the video. <laughs> Mario Kart Wii. So I now have, thir this is 13 copies of Mario Kart Wii. Why? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I really don't. And then also, this was cool. So the person basically bailed on them. They never showed up for those uh, four or five games that they wanted. What was interesting is they picked the top Mario games, all the games that they thought were valuable, um, which are, are the most valuable for most part, but they missed two things. Target Terror, which I'm super excited to have. I've never played this. I never had heard of it until... I looked it up, and I looked it up, and this reminded me of one of my favorite games as a kid, uh, one of my favorite shooter games, Lethal Enforcers, which I used to actually have the arcade game. It reminds me so much of that game. I cannot wait to play this because it looks so fun to play. Um, and with the re Wii Remote, this has got to be fun. I wonder if it, uh, if you could use that. Yes, you can. You could use the uh, the gun attachment for the uh, Wiimote and the Nunchuck, so that's cool. I like that. So that was valuable. And then I also got a Wii included in that bundle. And then, this is cool. So I learned this from another YouTuber. Um, the Wii Lens Cleaning Kit. Now, they still have the sticker on this one, which was $9.99. And I'm not sure. That looks like possibly a faded Best Buy sticker. But $9.99, it appears to be brand new sealed, but there is no seal on it. But it doesn't appear to be opened. And what's crazy about these, I don't know why. This is brand new sealed worth somewhere between $60 and $75. So box isn't in perfect condition, but it's not in bad condition. So this is between $60 and $75. Now, um, used open, you could find these for as low as $35. Um, but the American versions like this one here seem to be pretty rare. And I don't know why. So if you know why, leave it in the comments below because I, I don't know why. Um, I also got the day of the town-wide yard sale. Um, I stopped at, uh, out of town at a yard sale that had nothing to do with my town wide yard wide. Uh, wow, I can't talk. Nothing to do with my town wide yard sale. 
Um, it was in, uh, I want to say it was Rhinebeck or Red Hook, New York, and went way on my way. There's two yard sales next to each other. Neither of them had any video games out. Uh, but you always ask, hey, do you have any video games? The first one said, no, we don't have anything that we're selling. The second one said, hey, I think I have one of those NES Classics. So there we go, NES Classic with the with the controller. So that's super awesome. Um, this is a original one, which is awesome. Um, so it is the OEM, the factory one. He actually got this from the New York City Nintendo store, which is even cooler. Um, the, I actually knew the guy because the guy actually bought a car from the car dealership um, that I work at and the guy, the neighbor next to him also bought a car from the car dealerships. So both of them knew me. Um, I think I paid $15 for this, which is a really reasonable deal. Um, and he told me that the day this launched, he actually waited in line, uh, for this. So I was like, that's crazy, man. I already have one of these. Um, I have one actually at my work. I hooked up to my computer, but I have no sound because I have no speakers on my computer. Um, but I think I'm gonna hook this one upstairs uh, in my bedroom so I can play when I want to because I often I, I really seriously often play the original Super Mario Brothers. I just love the game It was the first Nintendo game that I ever played um, And I'll go back to it and play it over and over again, you know, I'll play, you know You know five or six levels and you know, I usually don't die I usually just have to turn the system off But uh, yeah cool for 15 bucks. Hey, you know what? That's a great deal um, I think that might be it. Oh, there's one more item. I'm going to try not to drop this because I already dropped something. I don't care about that. All right. I already dropped something. This is cool. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. So this is cool. I've been wanting to buy one of these for a very long time. And uh, I finally found one at Too Many Games. It's not in the best condition, uh, but it is probably the coolest thing um, that I bought in a while. Got a power glove. Oh my God. I wanted one of these forever. Um, every time one pops up, I'm like, ah, I don't know. And I finally bought one and it sucks because this one's not that nice. Um, and it's, you know, I always overlook things. And I just noticed something that the side of the glove here on the thumb is kind of chewed up uh the rubber is missing but i did notice right away that the interior is not that great of a condition there's a lot of rips and tears and it's very dirty um but you know what it's okay it's all right he said there was styrofoam here i probably would rip that off too um it has all the sensors and stuff so i have all the sensors i want one of these ever since seeing uh that movie from the 80s uh the wizard i love that movie it's basically like a nintendo commercial the whole entire thing and uh, you see Lucas playing with this thing, and they're like, wow, what is that? It's a power glove, man. So I finally got the power glove. It must suck if you're a lefty. I, I don't know what to do because <laughs> they only made these one way as far as I know. They only made them righty, which is the uh, majority of us. But if you're a lefty, I'm sorry. Let me know if you're a lefty in the comments below. Or am I even going to try to say it? Maybe I am. Where you can write with two hands. They call that ambidextrix. Uh, why did I try? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you're left-handed or you're that other thing. Um, and what do you guys think? You guys think I uh, overpaid for things? I think I paid a hundred bucks for this. If you want to watch the too many games video, uh, you can see that in there and see uh, what I paid for that. I do remember I paid a hundred dollars for this here. Um, he was asking two hundred, and I just dropped it and made it even worth less. So uh, that sucks. So um, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? Did I get any good pickups? Or, or did you guys know that this that this ridiculous lens cleaner is worth like sixty to seventy five dollars? I can't believe that. I knew this from other other uh, YouTubers, but uh, Mr. Rightway. I remember watching his video and he was talking about this. And I'm like, what the heck is that? And you know what's funny is you learn a lot from watching other people. You know, and I, I certainly have learned a lot. And I'm really looking forward to, like I said, I'm looking forward, I'm going to play this Target Terror. I'll let you guys know what it's like. And my 13th copy of Mario Kart Wii. I don't know why. I don't know why. All right, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. Uh, we got a Facebook page. So if you're on Facebook, type in the germ. Hopefully you see this beautiful face here. Beautiful. I had a big scar here. I hurt myself on a water slide a couple weeks ago. It's all healed up. That's why I haven't been making videos. It's one of the reasons. But uh, yeah, 
I will see you guys in the video, next video. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.